there's a lot of hype around um, funding and there's a lot of, uh, um, I, I think it harms business because it's just, if you go back to the older generation, which I, I like to sometimes go back to the basics because that's when you kind of uh, uh, keep your sanity. Uh, people were obsessed to start a company and get customers to pay them for whatever they are selling. People now, uh, instead of that, they start a company and they're obsessed about raising money. And it's crazy. My advice to anyone starting a company would be very, be very, very careful. That is not your goal. That is good if you can do it and you need it, but that is not the objective. And I often see entrepreneurs who raise a ton of money and they go and celebrate. It's like game over. And then two years later, they blow up. You know, and we've seen it again and again and again. Like there's companies, you know, um, I remember Quirky. Mm -hmm. Anyone, anyone uh, knows a fantastic entrepreneur, a really great guy, um, went to their offices and was like, wow, this is amazing. I felt that I was running a failed startup because I had this tiny little office with one person, try, and I go to this amazing office, which I thought, fuck, what am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. You know? I made like free lunches, it was like, blew me away. Um, and I was like, shit, maybe I should reinvent myself. Two years later, they went past and we're still in business. Why? Because we kept it sane. And well, because because my goal wasn't to raise 100 million from, I think they raised it from a recent order. My goal was to have customers keep repeating, purchasing more from us and creating new products like Supertasker, innovating and, and so on. So go back to basics. If a VC, which is what happened with us, by the way, we didn't go fundraising. If a VC comes knocking on your door and wants to give you money, and if you have a good business, you probably will, have a chat. That's how I see it. Well.